In this video, I'm going to show you how to delete the tap to tweet and post buttons in Notification Center. Now, we'll need to delete Facebook and Twitter separately. Before we begin, you'll notice that the tap to post button is in Notification Center. In this video, I'm going to show you how to delete the Facebook tap to post button. This will not alter any information on your Facebook account and will not show up on your wall. Open the Settings app, scroll down to Facebook and select it. Then tap your name or tap the name you use for Facebook. Remember, you're not deleting your Facebook account. You're only deleting the Facebook account association with your iPhone. So don't worry. Your Facebook account will not be altered or deleted. You can easily restore the button if you change your mind later. Tap Delete Account. Then confirm by tapping Delete. Facebook integration has now been erased from your iPhone. If you go to Notification Center, you'll notice that Tap to Post is gone. Once Facebook is gone, you'll now need to remove the Twitter's Tap to Tweet button in the same way. Before we begin, you'll notice the Tap to Tweet button in Notification Center. In this video, I'm going to show you how to delete the Twitter Tap to Tweet button. This will not alter any information on your Twitter account and will not show up in your tweets. Open the Settings app, scroll down to Twitter and select it. Then tap your Twitter username. It always begins with an at sign. Remember, you're not deleting your Twitter account. You're only deleting the Twitter account association with your iPhone, so don't worry. Your Twitter account will not be deleted or altered. Tap Delete Account. Then confirm by tapping Delete Account again. Twitter integration has now been erased from your iPhone. If you go to Notification Center, you'll notice that the Tap to Tweet button is gone. Subscribe to more tutorial videos, click on my username, or visit youtube.com slash A562178.